Hello everyone and welcome to a late release of Let's Play with Asclepian Gaming. And without further ado, let's get started. I am digging this jazzy music here, you guys. I got some trees growing. Uh, well, it's been a really busy day. Really, really busy weekend so far for me, you guys. And so I've been playing a little bit on and off. I did some rearranging. I moved my house. I have this dope bath that I can't actually do anything with or get into, but it's cool, aesthetically pleasing. I have my ramp. Oh yeah. I'm really liking the natural look, actually. I'm wondering if I can recreate, like, a... It's gonna be hard, but I kind of want to recreate this pattern in the designer. If somebody's already created it, please leave it in the comments below. It'll save me a whole world of troubles. But yeah. Good times. We have resident services that's been upgraded since we were all last here. We have... What else? A campsite. Now. I left that piss. Pissnick. It's a pissnick basket. I left the picnic basket. I'm really sad because I'm getting hybrids and yet no special. No special butterflies or anything on it. So that's kind of disappointing. I have a black flower somewhere. Somewhere. Now that we have resident services, we actually have been able to get this funky, awesome music that changes every day. We're kind of kind of digging this like low-key jazzy rock beat. And it there's like a bell that chimes every time the hour on the hour. Oh yes! So this is my my look that I was uh rocking the other day. I got the do-rag from Flip. I got the sweater from a balloon. I got the boots. These are working boots from a balloon. I got the jeans from myself because I've had them since I started playing the game. I think it's the jeans I got at the starter, so I'm really excited because I didn't think she was going to be- oh yeah, I'm broke as a joke. <laughs> a different kind of hoodie, a different color. Uh, I'm digging the bougie look. I think maybe I can go with the bougie look or the- oh god, I just- I kind of want the, the weird ski mask. No, no, I gotta be good. Rubber toed sneakers. Okay, so I'm thinking rubber toed sneakers, bougie, sw like, shirt, and denim cutoffs is what we're gonna wear with our new striped socks. Once I actually get my money out of the bank or sell some stuff. Because I've been. I've been slacking, man. I've been so tired. Today was adulting day, so most of my day was spent with working with an electrician to get a new light, put in our master bedroom closet here. And because for some odd reason, the previous homeowner just had like temp lights stuck up on the ceiling. It was really bizarre. You're new! I lied. There is a new bug around my hybrids. Ah, I can't see you. Come back. Don't run away. No, I need you. Come back. Come back to me. Come, come back. Ugh. Ugh. Zoink. No. Oh, God, guys. I'm so bad at this. Yes. Finally. Yay. The peacock butterfly. It's not on my pink hybrids. It was on the... It likes these, like, black flowers. Which are kind of cool because they're kind of like a black and a red with like the red tip. Which is kind of pretty. I like it. I'm hoping that this is another black flower that just got reproduced. I tried to like alternate different colored flowers to encourage kind of a variety if you will. But yeah, oh it's so late in the day. I've, I've, I've played on and off between today and yesterday so I got a lot accomplished. I just... I haven't edited any of this material until a lot later than I usually do, which is okay. This is fine. Real life is fine. Real life is so much fun. What's the hot item of the day? 
Wooden block table, not a cheap thing to make. It's probably not gonna be worth my time. I really wish they would have something that I didn't have to make. That'd be nice, just for once. Another sign that spring is here. Spring's been here. Where have you been? I decided to put the camping site here. Uh, just because I figured this was kind of out of the way. You know, maybe people who are visiting want their privacy, but it's not like gonna block my entire beach. So hopefully that'll be good enough. And I don't really know what's next. I guess I gotta go talk to Tom Nook. I've been so busy trying to get all the money saved up for all this other stuff. The Matryoshka dolls. Those are the dolls that fit inside bigger and bigger and bigger dolls. It's the little Russian Matryoshka. I think that's what they are called. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Bob. I forgot about Bob. Everybody meet Bob. Bob's the naked person who's uh, guarding, that's what we're gonna call it, guarding the island. He, uh, I had him turn the other way, but it's even creepier because it's the anatomical doll that you can see in like doctor's offices. So it's, uh, it's his insides <laughs> sticking out. So instead uh, his naked half is uh, facing us mostly. Cause that's fun. That looks like a big fish. What are you? And I'm probably not gonna catch you because I'm gonna get nervous and like freak out and or something probably. Dog god, are you just gonna ignore me? It's fine. It's probably like a flounder or sea bass. Shit. Come on. No! I did it! I knew it! No! Nah. I got too excited. Ah, oh, disappointment. I get so quiet when I'm fishing, guys, because I'm like so nervous. I'm gonna do shit like that. Ah. Oh, I'm disappointed in myself. Can't do it. All right, we gotta collect stuff. We gotta get some money. We gotta buy some new outfits before the end of the day. Because I've been running around doing adulting things, like cleaning my house, you know, like a normal adult. And getting ready to to work from home again for another week, so I get to try out telecommuting. I don't know how much of a fan it. I know that desperate times call for desperate measures, and we are in a time where this is a necessity. But it is so weird not to to take care of people face to face. Ah! I already missed a fish. I can't afford to miss you too. Let's see. Let's see. What else? I want to start decorating on my island. Man, I really am digging this this music. Did we get... <sighs> I was thinking I got all of them, and then I didn't, and I'm just missing one. Come on. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, great news. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So I've been busy, and my friend Stefan came to visit my island, and we coordinated, and we made a ton of fish bait. And while I was fishing, he was making bait, and I'm gonna help him out with his endeavors later so that we can help him get his sturgeon, I believe it is, that he still has to get. But I finally caught the string fish, you guys. It took 75 freaking bait just to do it. But it is done. <laughs> finally. Finally. I think I need to build a bridge so I can stop having to vault over every single section of land. Ugh. You don't look as big, but I have to redeem myself because I can't... Oh, I'm so mad I freaked out. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. Don't do it. No! Oh, oh, whoa. I almost didn't click. Sorry. Ah, it's a bass. It's always a sea bass. Oh, and I finally caught the ore fish, too. That was the other one. It was like having a really hard time remembering which fish it was that I caught. I spend a lot of time fishing. I don't spend a lot of time organizing. I really want to try to like learn some of these like walkway designs that some of y'all have created. Um, that people have put on like their ground because I kind of am at that point where I want to start decorating now that I can 
start doing some of these projects. I had a really hard time deciding which ramp I wanted to use because there's some really cool ones like the stone stairs and stuff, but maybe I'll put those maybe somewhere closer to the town or I don't know. I can't really do that. Maybe once I can terraform stuff, which I heard you can't do until later, 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 later in the game. But yeah, I'm kind of at that mood now where I kind of want to start arranging stuff and taking care of the designs that I'm going to have because I think what's next is going to be just ramps and bridges and a ton of that stuff. I got to go talk to Tom Nook and see if he's got any other stuff, but I think this would be a really good spot for a ramp. It's kind of close to the one I have right up there with my house. So I'm thinking that's a good place to do it, but I'm kind of... I'm kind of hating where I put all my fruit trees for some reason right now. Hopefully it'll grow on me maybe later, but right now I'm actually kind of unhappy with it. <laughs> Which really sucks because I don't want to have to dig them up, so that's a future me problem. But yeah, what else did I do? I've done a lot. I haven't been... I did a lot that I didn't record. I done done a lot. And it got done. I'm so sorry, I don't even know what that was. But, yeah. I'm wondering if maybe having their separate section would be better, like somewhere up here so it's out of the way. And then maybe just have it dedicated to non-native fruit, and then just have the native fruit wherever the heck it wants to be, I guess, in town. Which would make sense, because it's the native fruit. And then I learned this, that you can go behind these little sections and kind of your kind of like a little hideaway area here, which is funny, because it would really suck if any of the people want to play hide and go seek, and I didn't figure this out, and they hid back here, because that'd be a really good hiding spot. I'm just saying. But yeah, I didn't know that. It's on the other side too. That goes behind where I put my house. So it's really funny. If I ever want to hide from any of my friends visiting, now I know where to go. <laughs> Until they figure it out and they watch this video, and now they know. Because I just thought about that too. Ah, where is this last fossil, you guys? Oh, there's a new bell. Hattie hole. Oh, what is with me and my aim for these things? I don't have any aim, guys. This is why I can't do first person shooters very well. Or like multiplayer online battle arenas. I would lose like a lot. <laughs> a lot. Because I'm not good at it. At least I know my strengths and weaknesses. I can accept them. Alright. I can never... I always run past it like five times a day too. But I can never find... This fourth fossil easily throughout the day. Because that's what I do. Oh! I spoke too soon. There you are, you glorious bastard. Boom. All right, so now we can turn in this new bug and now we can turn in all of our fossils if you'll want them because a lot of them have been ones that we already have and I've been SOL, so go me. <laughs> Bolt. So at some point I'm gonna put a bridge here and then I already have the bridge that goes up north on the island and then I'm gonna put a bridge. Wait for it. Hold. I'm gonna put the bridge here. I don't want to put it too far up towards the actual river outlet because I think it might mess up with some fish spawns later on. So I think right here would be pretty good and it's not like right on top of like this awkward rock that's placed up here which is another option but yeah, I'm not a fan of that area, so the other one's more likely where I'm going to put it. All right. What are you gonna take from me? Ah, he's sleeping again. How is he sleeping again? He was like up by like noon last time. What time is it? It's past noon. You should be awake. Stop doing stupid things. Phew. I'm all a flutter. He's so excited about fossils, it's adorable, and he hates the bugs. 
He doesn't want to tell you about the bugs. He actually looks like he kind of gets a sly look like, hell yeah, you don't want me to tell you about them bugs when you tell him you're too busy to hear about it. Oh good, we at least have one new fossil. I wonder what we have. Because there's been a lot of them that I'm not able to actually give to him, which makes me a little sad. Like maybe one a day has been... Oh, we got, we're up to two a day now. I will take that. Boom. Take that butterfly. Take them. Take them, take them. Take all the things. Nope. Well, I'm good. Jolly good. Let's go see what things look like. The oarfish kind of creeped me out. I think it's like the creepiest looking fish so far. And that like the angler style doesn't even bug me. So now the river fish, so my friend pointed out that before you get enough river fish, these like rocks that are in the back are actually not there. I didn't notice that because I haven't actually been coming in here, but now there's like rocks in the background and the decorations are good. So that being said, I think as you get more stuff, the areas get a little bit more decorative, a little bit more fancy. So like maybe all these reeds and stuff and the actual like lilies were like the lily pads. They weren't all in there before. And then I think that would make sense because another friend asked me how I got a scuba tank and a scuba suit. And for the life of me, I didn't know what they were talking about. And now I kind of do because each of the decorations starts to get added on as you accomplish it. So here's my scuba suit and the tank. And I think it's because I started getting some of these guys here. <laughs> that oar fish looks really awkward, I'm just saying. So it's like the deep sea fish. And it's really funny because the football fish, or as I like to call it, the angler fish, if you have it in a tank in your house and you turn on and off the light, it's actually not the tank light for them. It's his, it's his actual light that he has on his head that lights up instead, which I find absolutely fascinating and hilarious. But yeah, it looks like the, the fish area is fairly dynamically changing as you unlock more and more stuff. And I think that's actually super awesome that you get more and more of these decorative pieces that are put in there as you get more and more fish. I think that's actually a really cool aspect and something I look forward to seeing more of. So it'll be really cool to actually see what kind of unfolds maybe in this, this area. Um, this area looks a little better than it did before. So I, I wonder if it's going to get more in the background as we get more fish or what the whole plan is. I do love that there's more than one of some of the fishes as well, despite the fact you only turned in one. The best examples of that that I've seen are the sardines. So it shows a really cool like school of sardines in there and just the way that the light keeps reflecting off them, just like how they do in, in, in real life when you're seeing all those ocean documentaries. I, I thought that was really cool. Again, I'm fascinated by the littlest, littlest details in this game. And I find the museum oddly calming. And I'm, I'm really thoroughly enjoying that. So it looks like, oh, we've got not just the coelacanth, but we also have a coelacanth, like, fossil. Well, that's kind of cool. What else did we unlock? I don't know. I just kind of blindly go through and just keep clicking on stuff. So, wow. That guy's almost done. He's just missing a couple more pieces. There we go. I love how realistic the the bones look too. I probably said that before, but I'm going to say it again because I think it's really awesome. <laughs> Mostly because like I was telling you guys in earlier videos, I'm a super huge nerd and I wanted to be like a paleontologist when I was a kid, but the work for that is kind of few and far between and it's it's a it can be a rough field, honestly. People don't realize that. Oh, that's cool. The mammoth. Saber-toothed tiger. A butt. Half a body of a... Moose? 
I don't, I don't know. I should probably pay. I should probably just like look at them and get the actual thing before I start opening my, my mouth. <laughs> but I am, uh, I'm, I'm at least uh, amused by it. So there's that. That's kind of cool for the stuff that's too high. You just come up here and you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Oh, there's where that is. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like mounted on the wall, like it's flying. Uh -huh, I see what you did there. Like even the footsteps, like the sound of like a harder floor, the sound of metal, cause they're metal stairs. I just, I'm telling you guys, I'm just so amused by these little things and I can't get over it. And I think it takes a lot of love and dedication for a team to be that detailed about certain things down to raindrops on a window on the inside of your house while it's raining, the different sound that it makes in different spots. Even something as simple as being underneath a palm tree and being able to hear the sound of the leaves in the wind and how they sound differently than a regular tree or how it sounds different when it's raining. I just, I really have a lot of love and appreciation too for that, that they've, they've put that kind of effort into a game for people who have been looking forward to this kind of game for years now. I think that that's awesome. I really do. Let's see if our peacock butterfly is in the butterfly room now. Because it's gorgeous. Yes, it is. Ah, uh, the emperor butterfly, man. At, when they fly around at night, if you get to see them on like a clear night and the moon's out and like you can see the stars, it's gorgeous looking. Absolutely gorgeous looking. 10 out of 10 recommend that you enjoy that site and then catch it and sell it for a lot of money because... It's worth a lot of money. <laughs> I'm wondering if, since the tarantula is here, I'm wondering if later in the year when we get the scorpion, if we get the scorpion, that's where it's going to be. Because that would make sense. That's my guess. Oh. That's new. Okay. So, so this, this wasn't here earlier, so that's kind of cool. I wonder if Blathers is, uh, doing some research in like breeding things. That's kind of interesting. So I think the ants are going to go here. I'm not really sure what might go in there if it's just for show or what would go on the top if you catch it. But I think if you leave fruit or something out, I know if the turnips, if you leave them out and they go bad and they rot, if you leave them out on the ground, it'll attract ants and that's how you can capture the ants. I don't know if all fruits are like that. I've left a pear somewhere on the ground. I don't know if it's still on the ground, but I left a pear out to hopefully rot and attract ants so I can capture those as well. Uh, what else? What else is new? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard when you go like a chunk of time not recording and you're like, what did I do? Oh, that's cute. It's like a little muddy splotchy area. Interesting interesting not a ton of the typical beetles like you've seen before oh i didn't even realize i feel really stupid because i never realized that door was there i feel really really dumb now <laughs> this this oh god I forgot that thing was there <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I feel like I've walked by like 16 times and I've never noticed it was there until like later on. And then I record myself in these videos being like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. And people are like, yeah, it's, uh, it's been there the entire time. You just weren't paying attention. I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> All right, let's sell some stuff. What is this? Oh, the rain boots. I got some rain boots too last night, but they, the work boots, I liked the yellow. I thought that was actually really cool and a pop of color because I'm all about those pops of color. All right, Nooklands, what you got for sale? Oh God, a giant panda teddy. It's kind of terrifying, but kind of cute. Oh, I love the little restaurant sign. The little restaurant sign back there is actually really cute. And if I could get like a cafe styled idea in my kitchen area, it'd be really cool. I should probably go show you the house too. I think I've, did I rearrange anything? I might've rearranged stuff. I don't remember if I'm being honest. 
Sure. It's closing time. Let's find out what you got. A uh, sea lion? Oh, <laughs> there's literally a sea lion on the bag. That's adorable. Mmm. Poop brown wrapping paper for all the people that you don't really want to gift anything to, so you send them trash. Let's see. Anything interesting? No? Some birch flooring. You want some birch flooring? No. Let's see. Uh, I was hoping for more of a cafe sign, though. But the menu chalkboard's kind of adorable. Hmm. Can I pull it off, though? I'm gonna wait. I'm, I'm more interested in getting new clothing because I'm really hoping that it's similar to previous things where if you buy a lot of stuff, she's gonna want to move here. So I'm kind of tempted if I had enough money throughout the day to buy one of each thing from her because I'm wondering if you buy enough, that'll trigger it. So... I also changed my town flag, and I also changed my town song. And if you guys can recognize it, then good for you. <laughs> yes, this we're going to wear today, because we're going to wear one thing new every day, hopefully. It's going to depend on what we actually get on our person. Yes, yes I do. We're going to wear the denim cutoffs. Who doesn't want short shorts? Short shorts all the way. We're gonna buy the ridiculous socks. Let's, you know what? We haven't worn glasses yet. Let's do that too. Might as well. No, I didn't want to close. Why do I do this? Yep, yep. Totally forgot a lot of stuff on my list. I'm gonna need all your stuff. Okay, we bought that. Let's get these. Yep. Get it, get it. Good stuff, good stuff. My friends are all more uh, coordinated in their outfits than I've been, but that's also, uh, like I said, I made this little rule for myself that whatever I get, that's the thing we wear for the day. Whether it drops from a balloon or we get it from the store and try to coordinate a look ourselves. Oh, I saw another peacock butterfly. I'm gonna catch it. Oh uh, yeah, I want those shoes real quick. I'll come back for other stuff later. Yep, we're buying it. Let's do it. And we're going to start rocking this new look in a second here. After we catch that butterfly. If it's still there. Once I finish it. Nope, we're good for now. We're good. Where'd it go? Oh, no. Ah, yes. Gimme, gimme. Yoop. This is refreshing that they're now flying around a little bit more. I'm happy with this. This makes me pleased. Indeed. I wonder if I set it out now, if a friend could come and grab it. Now I can work in this corner and maybe put together like a cute little bench set up with fences around the flowers to protect them. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's going to work out, but we are going to change our outfit because that's what we said we were going to do. We're going to wear the new stripe socks. I had old stripe socks. We're going to wear these shorts. Oh, uh, I'm going to look ridiculous. Okay. Yes. Yes. Done. I'm keeping the little deer rag on. It adds to the... the. I just rolled into my closet while I was half awake look. All right. Finally, we're going to do some business. So what kind of business is he going to have us do? If you haven't figured out the song yet, I'll tell you about it a little bit later. A tent will go. Okay, I was wondering why our campsite looked like just, just a slab of wood. What do you want me to do? Place some outdoor decorations to enhance the scenery. Well, how do I know when I'm done doing that? How many you want? Oh, I forgot we never held a ceremony. Uh-huh. 
businessman as usual. So I don't. Uh. I guess let's hold a ceremony since I forgot to do that. And I'm sure those increase people liking you. Oh, we didn't even do one for an incline too. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Let's celebrate a slab of land that is slanted upwardly. Upwardly. Is upwardly a word? It is now. Look at every it, the whole gang's here. Except for Maggie. Screw her, she's in the back behind the tree. <laughs> My whole town's excited about this ramp. Good job, everybody. Ray built a huge incline and we did absolutely nothing to assist her. Good for us. Good for me. You bitches didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, commemorative photo op time. Well then, with hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Gallifrey's beautiful incline. Hooray! Woo! Everybody's so happy. I feel really bad that poor Maggie was like shoved in the back. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he's going to want me to do. I guess this is perfect timing then for me to decorate if that's what he wants. I learned a new emote. I learned two. Oh, that is not the emote that I picked. Apologetic was the one I wanted. I'm so sorry. Oh, we bowed now to each other. And then I sneezed. Oh, and they're so alarmed. Good for you, because she didn't cover her sneeze, and now you all probably have viral infections. Hint, hint. Cover your sneezes and wash your hands. I don't know why we're telling people to wash their hands now. Oh, that's so cute. She fell asleep at the counter. Oh, we're gonna wake her up. Because I'm a dick. <laughs> I love how he, like... Nook's in the background, like, organizing stuff. She's dozing off. I think I've seen them clean and then water that little flower plant right there. Listen to my island tune, you guys. I will tell you in a moment what it is. This is what I... <laughs> this is what I picked out. Don't judge me too hard. Okay. Did you guess it yet? Did you guess it yet? It's Toss a Coin to Your Witcher from the new Witcher TV series. I couldn't help it. It's... Oh my God! I forgot she sang it. I didn't even listen last time. I feel awful. Don't fix it if it ain't broke. I'm good. I am loving the fact that she sang that. That was actually super cute. Oh, and I feel really bad because I think she did it earlier and I kind of ignored her. And I like quickly blew through it. Do, 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 do. I hope everybody who comes to visit figures that out after a point. <laughs> uh, I guess let's keep holding uh, ceremonies and so I'm, I'm going to go hold a ceremony and then I'm going to hopefully see what else you want me to do. And if terraforming is, well, terraforming is not going to be an option. I don't think until later. So, yay, the gang's here. All right, and nobody's hidden behind a tree for once. So that's good. I can finally take a good snapshot. I use a lot of my snapshots in my thumbnails. So everything that you guys see in the YouTube thumbnails, actually, I completely create myself and it's a pain in the butt. But it feels more authentic that way rather than just having YouTube do it. So, yeah. Woohoo! Go us! Yay! Again. Only I did all the things. Good for us. That's gonna be my response to everything that none of these bitches help with. <laughs> Boom. And time for the confetti! Boo! Everybody looks hecking concerned when they explode theirs. Yay! Now can we find out what you need me to do? Is it really just putting out more- f I don't know how many more trees and flowers we can get. Now, outdoor decorations, dude. My man. 
I can totally understand that we need a lot more of those. Because the land is kind of barren. Look at that! Now they're doing something different. Oh, he's sipping his coffee. Hey, it's like me, you guys. Sipping his coffee on his computer. She's reading a book. Also, things I do. Lately, been more gaming just because a new video game came out that I'm enjoying playing. I can't help but I sing a lot. I actually sing that song a lot when I'm playing with uh, my friends. It drives them crazy. What do I need to do? Okay. So I guess that's what we have to do. We have to weed stuff and plant flowers and do crap. Okay. I guess I can do that. What's in the box of mystery today? Nothing in the box of mystery. What's over here? We got to get our bonus. How did I miss dates? Um, I think I missed... Did I miss a day? I think I missed a day. I think I did something wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Anything? 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 Barbed wire fencing? Imperial fencing? I already got those before. That's boring. Drinking fountain? No. We are not doing a manhole cover. Wave breaker. Let's just chuck one of these bad boys on the beach. Maybe a well. That'd be kind of cute. This looks like some ring, like the one out of the ring and some creepy spooky shit's going to come out of it. No, thank you. A stall. Uh, I'll put a stall up if I can sell stuff. Stonehenge. <gasps> oh my God. If there's a stone slab, I can create a stonehenge. <gasps> ah. Oh, that's tempting. But 2000, I'll wait. Robot hero. God, Why? I'm not doing that. No. What I do want... Ah, I really want these. A drink machine. That'd be pretty dope next to Town Hall. That would fit. There's like machines in Japan everywhere. If anybody hasn't been before, you should go to Japan and you'll be surprised. It's not just the drink machines either. There's vending machines for everything. And I mean everything. <laughs> Springy ride on tourist telescope that'd look pretty dope up front looking out over the ocean park clock eh i'm not a fan i'm 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 digging the phone box that's kind of cute maybe next to uh the town hall area too cotton candy stalls i mean who doesn't want that if i could eat cotton candy hell yeah this is obnoxious i don't think i could do that or that if we had a lot more space i'd set up like an entire like outdoor area but once i feel like if we ever get any more this is kind of cool maybe i can put this in place of bob bob's a pretty good lighthouse so far the monster statue is a little weird the pool's a bit much the teacup ride's a bit much ah oh, man i'm kind of bummed maybe i'll just i'll just work on i'll work on other stuff i think because I'm not, I'm not too keen on, on those things. Or any of these yet. Some of them, some of them I don't mind. But some of them... Eh, I could, I could do without. Let's see. Anything new on shopping? Anything worth it? Soulful KK today. Rain boots again. My rain boots were black for the ones that I got. Oh god. Oh, can you imagine if you wore those two together? Lord. <gasps> this is happening. How appropriate. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. I had to edit a really stupid piece of... Of that, that kind of thing into my... Thumbnail when I went on... Quarantine. And then I felt really ridiculous, but it worked out somehow. What do you look like when you wear it? I'm going to be protected. If I, if, I haven't played with any friends online yet today. But if I do, it'd be really funny. Oh, no. That's right. I forgot everything that you order gets... Uh, man. I forgot that everything that you order gets postponed until the next day because it's an ordering system. Of course, they don't have it in person. <laughs> uh, I feel dumb. I forgot. I was going to wear it and, and make my friends laugh. Maybe next time. 
maybe next time. But yeah, there's our there's our flag. We got the TARDIS. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's from Doctor Who. <laughs> so is the town name. The town song isn't though, because I couldn't help myself. I had to have the toss a coin to your witcher thing. I didn't have to have it. I wanted to have it. So I did. <laughs> this is so close, I have to sidestep. It kind of annoys me. And again, I might move all of that stuff out of the way. Just because I'm being picky. So we're going to put some stuff into storage. So I think I'm going to focus on... Oh, it's almost three. Normally my videos come out at three. I'm going to focus on like arranging some stuff, making the town look good. Maybe look up a QR code to put some stone slabs down on the ground to kind of, I don't know, beautify the city. I got a shaved ice maker. I got a coffee grinder. The kitchen's coming along awfully slow. I don't know how I got this and I don't remember getting a fridge, but I have a fridge. So wait, what? Should I change what? No, you don't mean my clothes. Do you? Shut up. <laughs> okay, so our fridge is a magical portal to our wardrobe. And now we know. That's uh, not what I use my fridge for, but hey, uh, what the hell? Teach their own. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna craft some I think I was given some DIY to god that things I hate dolls. If anybody knows me, I hate dolls. Oh, I hate dolls. Oh god, they're so creepy. But yeah, so I unlocked a couple of decoration things for outside. Earlier we got some of these cool benches. I ended up purchasing the destination signpost because I really, really thought that would look cool. We also have a, uh, we finally got this brick oven thing unlocked and we do have some different fences unlocked. So I've got some garden styled stuff, a sauna heater for some freaking reason. I do have the Zen fence, but I didn't realize it was going to cost iron nuggets to make. So that kind of bums me out. But I'm probably going to put that up, probably up by the house that I have now. And then, yeah, I think that'll be pretty good. I am amazed that an ironwood kitchenette is going to cost a dresser and a cutting board. But I guess that does make sense. But I don't have the cutting board unlocked. So that's kind of, do I? No, I don't think I do. So that kind of sucks. But I do have some weird bamboo noodle slide. I just unlocked some bamboo lanterns. I think I've seen these in, I'm pretty sure I've seen these in the videos that went up line. I think I'm going to decorate with some of those outside too, because I think they will look really gorgeous at night from what I've seen in the past, but we'll see how it goes. I haven't quite decided yet how I'm going to decorate up there completely. But I have some ideas. So let's, let's, I'll come back maybe after I do a little bit of that. And then maybe I'll give you a tour. And that'll be, I think, it for me for today. I've uh, got a lot accomplished on my own. But I, I still have a lot of adulting to do this weekend. So I think that I'll be back. I'll give you guys a tour of what I get done. And we'll kind of go from there. I don't know when I'll get this edited and up. So if you're watching this and you're like, wow, they missed a day. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> All right, everybody. So I'm back. I failed to make paths and to design my island very well because I tried to do some custom patterns. And uh, yeah, they, um, they, they look pretty terrible if I'm being honest so uh so I gave up on that I put some fencing down in different areas I think what I'm going to do is use fences to line where I would like to have paths put down and then I wouldn't have to worry about the path set up until then I think when you can terraform yeah I think when you can terraform you can actually put down paths 
So instead, what I did is I actually went to my friend's island instead. My friend is in the Southern Hemisphere. Shout out to Andrew. Andrew, thank you. Andrew um, is my another friend that, that plays this game with me. Andrew lives in the Hemisphere. That's in the, the Southern section um, for his game. And he let a ton of us come to visit. And so I was able to get a couple new fish. So... I'm really, really, really excited. Uh, so now I have a turtle. I've got uh, a couple new little guys that I don't even remember, like the king, king salmon and stuff like that, that I'm pretty happy with. So uh, not a very successful town decorating day, but at least a successful fishing day. So that's the sucker fish. It'll follow one of the sharks around or something probably later but yeah so i caught some cool fish i was able to kind of get some stuff done i have some goals now i'm thinking that for the rest of the night what i'm gonna do is probably just have some fun with friends and just kind of relax well oh yeah i caught this guy too isn't he gorgeous look at him beautiful I think I'm just gonna have some fun with friends and relax a little bit. It's been a long day. I uh, I did not get recording done at all on time like I normally do. I felt kind of bad about it at first, but I'm okay with it. It is what it is. It kind of sucks, but what can you do, you know? Sometimes things happen and you move on and you enjoy life. So that ha that's what's been going on. <laughs> uh, oh, Celeste came by. I, I guess she's gone. Celeste came by and uh, she actually was... Uh, oh, hey, there she is. Okay, cool. So Celeste came by. She told me about shooting stars. And so what you can do is you can look up at the sky to... <laughs> I love that my phone went off. I forgot to silence my phone because my family, who lives in Illinois, is currently under tornado watches and warnings actually they just had a warning so i've been worried about i've been worried about my mom i love my mom <laughs> shout out to my mom i love you always inspiring me to to do what i can and to not be afraid to take that next step she also my mom actually also watched my first video i don't know if she's actually watching any of these but shout out to my mom for watching my videos <laughs> She told me it was funny because she didn't quite understand what the concept was. She was asking me. She's like, I don't understand what was going on. There wasn't that much gaming and there was more talking. So, but anyway, you guys. Yeah, so shooting stars will hopefully come along. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to go relax now. But hopefully you guys are having fun. Hit the subscribe button if you like what I do. Share this video with friends. If you want to see and kind of join our Discord, you can see that down in the description box below. You are more than welcome to also join the Facebook group, but the Discord group is a little bit more active. So hopefully we'll see you guys there. Take care.